guys, it's Jennifer. Welcome back to Busy Being Jen. I am here today to share my nighttime skincare routine. I have quite a few products that I use. Uh, a couple that I am kind of using up and probably won't continue to use, but, um, but quite a few. So I thought I would share that with you. Okay, so um, you may have seen my daytime skincare routine, and if you haven't, I'm gonna link that for you right here so you can go over and see that. Um, in the mornings, I don't use a cleanser on my face because we're assuming that at night that I washed my face up. And so it's at night where, you know, when I'm taking off makeup and things like that, where I have actually two cleansers that I use. So the first thing I use is an oil-based cleanser. And this, this one is uh, by Bare Face beauty and it is skin moisturizing cleansing oil in almond and vanilla and what i do is i take a few pumps of this in my hands and you know rub it around and it's really getting it's really great at taking off mascara and all kinds of um, makeup so i use that and then i use a cloth to a, a wet cloth with warm water and i kind of rub all of that off on my you know my neck and because i put a tinted sunscreen on my neck so I want to make sure that I get all of that off so I use a, a cloth for that and then what I do is I go in for the real cleanse and that is um, I, I'm not particular about any particular brand of facial cleanser if you have one that you absolutely love that's good for dry skin I'd love to hear about it in the comments below so um, anyway, this one that I'm currently using is by, it's by Namaste Skin. It's a turmeric daily herbal facial cleanser. And I put that on my face and then I use this tool, which is a, um, a Fofo by Luna or Foreo. It says Foreo, but Luna Foreo, Fofo, something like that. Anyway, I have all this stuff listed in the space below. I used to use a Clarisonic. Actually, I still use a Clarisonic. I keep I keep it in my shower, and I use it when I you know a few times a week when I'm taking a shower. But every night I use this thing, and what I love about this Fofo is that it's got it's made of silicone. The bristles are really soft, and it vibrates, and it just does a really nice job of not only cleansing my skin and getting it completely clean. But it also makes my skin feel really polished. I did a side-by-side -side thing of using the Clarisonic on one side and this on the other, and just noticed that the skin on the side where I used the Fofo was really soft and smooth and just really felt like it polished my skin. And so it, it's actually really good if you have sensitive skin too. I don't personally, but if you have sensitive skin, this is really good. For that as well so um, it also has a little sensor on the back and you can use it with an app on your phone and put it on different places on your skin and it measures the hydration level of your skin and so yeah it's great okay after I wash my face with that and rinse off my face then I use a toner and I'm not terribly particular about toners either this one though is Terra T-E-R-R-E, -R -R -E, Terra Mare, M-E-R-E, -E, and it is an aloe and tea tree toner. So I've been using that on it. And then when I'm finished with that, then I go into using my retinol stuff. So my neck is way too sensitive for putting a retin-A on or, or tretinoin, 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 I don't know how it's pronounced. Um, so I use this product by Lavier Labs. It's called Ooh La La, and it is, uh, what does it say? A serum booster, and it is a retinol product. And I take a drop of that and put it on my neck. Then, after that, I go in for my Retin-A. Now, I have a tube of Retin-A that I was using for years on my face but I use this differently now because what I have been using on my face is this product by Curology, and it has um, niacinamide, tretinoin, and azelaic acid. Now, when you get a serum put together for yourself from Curology, 
They ask you to fill out a questionnaire, send in some pictures of your skin up close so they can really take a look at any skin damage you have or, or um, sun damage that you have on your skin. And then they, they create your own little formula. Mine has my name on it right here. And so, so this is really awesome and I've loved it because it not only sheds off the, the dead skin layers that Retin-A does, but also with the az azelaic acid and the niacinamide, it does things to uh, get rid of any sun damage or uneven skin tone. It tightens the skin and all that. So, so that's what I put on next. And I put that all over my face, even around my eyes. But I don't put it on my neck because I, I have tried it on my neck and I paid <laughs> for it because it was just too much. So then with the tretinoin cream, what I do is I put that on the backs of my hands and I put it on my chest. And so I'm still, I'm still using that, but yeah, this I just reserve for my face. Okay, after that, I then put on these treatments for my eyelashes and my eyebrows, which, you know, my eyelashes have never been really, really long and thick. And my eyebrows have just thinned with age. So the one, one of the ones that I've tried that I really like and I continue to use is for my eyelashes is by Grand Lash. That's G-R-A-N-D-E, Grand Lash MD. And it is their Lash Enhancing Serum. And I just put a swipe of that at the base of my eyelashes. And it really does work for me to, um, to grow eyelashes nice and thick and long. And then the eyebrow serum that I love, and I've tried several that didn't work, but this is by Rapid Brow. And, or is it by Rapid? Let me get my glasses here. It's too tiny. Um, yeah, Rapid Brow Eyebrow Enhancing Serum. And so this stuff, this just has a brush on the end, and I just brush it right onto my eyebrows. And I'll tell you what, it works. My eyebrows have thickened up places where I had patchy spots have filled in. I've actually had to start plucking my eyebrows again. So I put that on before I go into creams and all that kind of stuff because I want to make sure that those two serums get right into the skin, into the pores, so that um, my creams don't block them from working. So, all right, so the next thing I put on my skin is this product by Timeless, and I, it's not just by Timeless, but this is Matrixyl Synth 6 Serum, and this is really good for boosting collagen and decreasing fine lines and wrinkles. So, so I put this all over my face, including my, my eyelids, and, um, and I do take the extra and put it on my neck and chest and the backs of my hands. So I like to use things on my chest and the backs of my hands too because they have, you know, they show signs of aging. And so I have done it, well, when I very first started using a lot of my, the acids that I use, I was taking a drop and putting it on my chest, taking a drop, put it on my neck kind of thing. And um, boy, but it was just too much. It just got too, too, too red. So, so yeah, I just use that on my face and, um, well, I use it on my face and then I take kind of the leftover and put it down my neck and chest and backs my hands. Okay, so for a while I have been using this eye serum and I've heard that eye serums are really not necessary or eye creams are really not necessary, but I received this one uh, from Lavier Labs and it is their, let's get these glasses out, it's called Lumia Multidimensional Platinum Eye Serum. And so you just take a little drop and put it around your eyes. It's supposed to reduce puffiness and dark circles. I haven't really noticed that it's done much with that. I don't really have dark circles, but I do have puffiness. And I really have not noticed that it has done any big thing. So this is almost gone. So when it is gone, though, I'm going to pay attention to see if maybe I do notice that something's coming back that I didn't realize had gone away. But yeah, so I was using that. Then... Um, okay, so then I have a neck cream. I use this one in the morning too. This is by Fifth and Glow. It's called Unbuttoned Beauty and it is a moisturizing cream that is specifically created for the kind of skin that we have on our neck, which is very different from, from the skin on our face. I'm sure, as most of you have noticed as you've gotten older, 
that the skin on your neck looks crepier and it actually even just feels different. It feels thinner, at least for me, feels thinner than the skin on my face. And so um, I've been using this for several months and really like it. And then I go in for my regular moisturizer that I put on my face and I also put this on the backs of my hands and on my chest. This is by Lavier Labs as well. This is my holy grail go-to moisturizer. Um, it is absolutely amazing. This is called Matanika. It used to be called Hydro Lift. And it, I mean, this has really made a difference in my skin. I did um, a video about this after using it for a couple of months, but then I did another review one year later. And so I'm gonna link that video for you right here as well. And also in the, in the space below, if you'd rather look at it later. And I show before and after pictures and there's really a difference. And so I used to not be any one moisturizer. I would just kind of switch around, jump around looking for different ones. But ever since I've landed on this one, I've been using it for over a year. No way am I going to any other moisturizer. Seriously, this stuff is really good. And then finally, now I'll take that moisturizer when I, when I rub it in, and then I will also take, take it and kind of rub it around my eyes too so that they're moisturized as well. But what I've been using in the last year is this product called Belief, Belief? it's spelled B-E-L-I-F, and it is called um, a moisturizing eye balm, like B-O-M-B, and just kind of tap it around. It is not really a serum that says it's going to reduce wrinkles or whatever, but it is to add hydration. It says that it adds hydration around your eyes for up to 26 hours. Yeah, pretty nice. Um, I don't use it in the morning though because I have noticed that even using a small amount around my eyes that when I put my makeup on it looks cakey on top of it. So I just use this at night. Um, I am almost to the end of this one and I'm going to see what happens after I stop using it to see if I notice that my eyes feel drier around there because I've, I've kind of gotten to where I'm just really used to this so I don't know. I, I want to make sure that, you know, that if I'm going to spend the $48 that it costs to get another container of this, that it really is something that's, that I really notice is moisturizing that skin around my eyes as opposed to just having some moisturizer on there. So I'm, I, jury is out on whether this is going to be something that I continue to use. I, this lasted, gosh, probably about a year. So $48 for a year is really not bad. But, um, but yeah, I'm going to hold off on getting one of these and just kind of see if I notice the difference in that. But I've been using that for the past year. And then the final thing is something that I do one night a week. And this is an alpha hydroxy acid face mask. The one that I'm using is uh, by Glimmer Goddess, organic alpha hydroxy acid face mask. And what I do on the night that I use this, I don't use any of my retinol products or Retin-A or my Curology, any of it, because it's pretty, it's a pretty strong product. So you wash your face, I want your face to be nice and clean. I take a brush and I brush it onto my skin and around on my face and my neck. I do not put it around my eyes. And, um, and then you let it sit for, this says 15 to 20 minutes. I would say start with 10 minutes. Immediately after I put it on, my face just feels hot. Like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep this on. But w once you get past that, which goes away after about a minute or so, then, um, then you're fine, you know? And, and they, have, they actually have another one that's a pumpkin alpha hydroxy acid face mask and that one didn't make my face feel hot it made it feel like really itchy like i i couldn't i could hardly stand it but that um that feeling goes away within a short period of time and then just leave it on so i would say if you if you have not been using an alpha hydroxy acid mask that you should just start with 10 minutes and then you know work your way up to 20 i can do 20 now with this 
And then I rinse that off. I find that it's hard to just rinse off, so I use a cloth to kind of help get that off as well. And then I use my toner afterwards, and then I skip everything else. I don't use my Matrixol. I don't use any other kinds of things. I just go for um, putting on my moisturizers. So yes, that is, <laughs> that's it for my routine. And I have noticed that since I've been starting to use all these different products that I'm seeing a lot more of the sloughing off of dead skin layers and just more of a like a brightening and tightening of my skin. And so I've been really happy with it. And while it seems like an awful lot of product and it seems like it's gonna take forever, um, it probably takes me 10 minutes to go through this whole routine. So, you know, not a big deal. But anyway, I would love to hear about any products that you use that are kind of must have things in your nighttime routine. So please comment in the space below. And I would love to have you follow me on Busy Being Jen if you don't already. So hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon on YouTube will let you know when I upload new videos, which is pretty often. So I'd love to have you come along with me on Busy Being Jen. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye. Thank you.